Hi guys, Michael Dennison here. You've probably seen a lot of videos on this channel where we try these small creatures. Dark Nobles, mini digs, uh, panfish digs, call them what you like. They are super small streamers with a heavy head. Uh, I make the eye either by using pre-made super small dig hooks like this or by crimping a split shot around a standard hook. Um, today I'll show you how I paint these eyes. Um, hang on. The Dark Nobler Fly was designed by British all-round angler Trevor Houseby. After inspiration from American spin fishermen using ultralight tackle and small digs. That happened way back in the 70s. Trevor converted the small digs to small streamer flies that were useful on a fly rod. He also named the fly. Apparently, the large reservoir rainbows were called dogs, and the fly nobbled, lured these dogs. I learned about these cool flies from my late friend Jens Plo Hansen, who brought a selection of Trevor's original dog nobblers home to Denmark after fishing with Trevor. This is one of the world's most effective streamer flies for last rainbows and browns and I've had great success using it for char and perch as well. Needless to say it's great for panfish, bass and other species. Today I'll show you how I make and paint the heads on these flies. First I bent the front part of a standard streamer hook slightly. Then I crimp a lead free split shot around the shank. Adding a drop of super glue before closing the gap with a pair of pliers. If the pliers make unwanted dings in the head, I use a teaspoon to smoothen out the heads. After that I add a base coating of matte white hobby paint and let it dry on the rotating fly dryer. When painting the heads by dipping into the bucket with paint, your hook eyes are probably gonna be filled up with paint. Use a dabbing needle to clean out the eyes between each layer of paint. Then I add the next layer in the color I want. Black, red, green, yellow, brown, whatever. And the hook goes back on the spinning wheel. Using a scalpel or a hobby knife, I prepare some matte sticks to use to add the paint for the eyes. The first drop for the eye is typically yellow or white, depending on the color of the head. And the next drop I use black for the pupil of the eye. I let the different layers of paint dry the recommended time before adding the next, typically 4 to 6 hours. So it takes a bit of time to make these heads, but in my opinion 
they are much more interesting than the tungsten bed head. Here are a bunch of heads ready for tying. Lots of opportunity to match tying materials to different head colors. You might want to check out my other videos on dark knobbers and mini jigs, especially the underwater action clips. These flies swim, wiggle and dart. Okay guys, a little bit of paint uh, makes a lot of difference, I think. That's all for today, thanks for watching.